you want clout and you're not getting clout. What kind of advice would you offer to somebody who wants to make a kind of variety of different videos? Love the failure or get out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. A few hours ago, I asked you guys to text me questions you had about me or my personal life because I'm very arrogant and so self-conceited. So today, we're going to dive into those questions. <laughs> So I want to grow my personal Instagram account. I have 179 followers. My question is how do I grow an audience, have them be active and interact with my posts? All right, David, thank you for that question. So what I'm hearing is you want clout and you're not getting clout and it's driving you insane. Um, and I've been there. I'm going to quote my boy Gary V on this one. So Gary V is a fellow entrepreneur and he is obsessed with TikTok. And at the time I thought it was super lame. Like what is this old geezer trying to act young? But I really do think that like he's onto something with TikTok. Um, the reason why it's because it's underpriced attention. The top 20% of Instagram established influencers are overpriced. Now what I'm hearing from David is currently on Instagram it's very competitive and the landscape is like fully taken. Go to a platform with underpriced attention where it's newer, where it's less populated so you can actually take that awareness onto Instagram. I'll use my TikTok as an example. Um, if you guys want to follow me on TikTok I have one here. I only have like 20,000 followers but some of the reach on my videos hit millions of views. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I actually am able to drive that traffic to Instagram. Like that video with a million views took me five minutes to make and I didn't even expect it. You guys know how hard it is to grow on YouTube or Instagram. So I would recommend driving TikTok awareness to Instagram just to get that initial traction if you're looking for engagement. What made you want to start being an influencer and helping people grow their, their business? Hey Lexi, thanks for this question. I love, this is so cool by the way, like this text message family is everything. I, I can't even tell you when I wanted to be one because I was like eight or nine years old, just making videos on a freaking ugly webcam. I didn't necessarily want to start a business because I was like so young, I didn't know what that meant. So I think my genuine passion comes from building products and experiences that help people. I love seeing people's reaction and I'm kind of a attention whore at the end of the day. Truly like I find so much enjoyment just talking to you guys, seeing customer reactions and building stuff that really changes people's lives. So, yeah. Also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you text my phone number. It's going to be in the description box. A lot of people were like, is Jade hacked? Like, why would she leak it? Is this a robot? And it's completely me. Like, this conversation, these voice memos are things that you guys texted me. So, it's 100% legit. Just text me and you can become of the family. Hi, Jade. Hi, my name is Kiera. I am... A Navy wife. Um, I actually teach from home too with VIP Kid. That's my little setup over there. Because I'm at 314 subscribers. Do you think it's still worth it? Because yesterday I was thinking like, I just really want to give up, you know? Because it feels like no one's watching, but I know people mm. are watching. Sorry, I'm watching. That's a ripping in the background. But <laughs> Oh my gosh. First of all, Kiara, you're so sweet. Um, and it's just cool to hear your story. In regards to your question about like if YouTube's worth it, it really depends why you're making content. When I was like nine or 10, it was solely the art. Okay, so there's this book I'm gonna quote called The War of Art, and one of these points really stuck out to me. So basically, a true successful artist, someone who makes videos or like a YouTuber that makes money full time, needs to have the capability of loving to be miserable. You need to learn how to love being miserable. And this book kind of like changed my opinion on failure. Like I'm from Portland, Oregon, and sometimes the wind is super cold and it's rainy and I like have to walk like five million blocks to the next coffee shop to realize that I have literally no clothes. I'm a hoe and I don't wear the right like jackets. And I realize as I'm walking, like I have no choice. I don't, I can't turn back. I just need to keep walking forward in this freezing weather. The reason why I bring up this analogy is it's just like making content or art. Um, you have to be able to just shut up and keep walking. Even if it sucks, even if it's not perfect, I would recommend and if it really truly means a lot to you to keep pursuing. Um, this book kind of goes into like the details of what you need to be miserable about, but you need to be able to handle rejection, isolation. And for you, Kira, it sounds like you need to be able to handle more self-doubt. Like, yeah, it might suck. It might, you might not get any views, but if you just stay long enough in the game, you're gonna get one subscriber a day. There's no doubt in like a year, two years, you're gonna see so much more growth. You just have to stay consistent on it if it means a lot. So check out The War of Art if you guys would like to read more. It's kind of of really depressing honestly because you just have to love being miserable and if you don't like it then get out of the game there's no point to be here love the failure or get out <laughs> we love you you guys i'm like 
obsessed with this text message thing. Like, I gotta hear your voices. And now we're texting and now we're I see your face. Comment down below if you guys would like me to do like these monthly Q and A's. I can't believe I haven't done like an Ask Jade show in so long. Hey Jade, my name's Mike Rari and I had a quick question for you. I was just wondering what kind of advice would you offer to somebody who doesn't want to be niche specific and wants to make a kind of variety of different videos? Mm. Thanks. Oh shoot, I Mike, I love you. You are straight to the point. Thank you for your question. Mike, the advice I would give you is make all the variety of content and make a mixture of video. If you ever search any growth YouTube channel, the reason why they're giving you like a niche advice is just to make your life less creative. Like, that's the goal is to make it easier and simplify. But it sounds like Mike, your goal is to make art that's more complicated to tell stories. And by doing that, do not listen to the niche advice. I, I genuinely believe it's BS to like listen to that too earlier on when you're trying to experiment. Like when if I was nine listening to like pick a niche, I would probably quit three months down the road, you know? So I can have so much empathy for people feeling really confused. I recommend the top 10 hacks, which is create your top 10 creators favorite videos. It's like take expiration and make stuff that you love I and mean, then over time you're gonna narrow down um just by trial and error so do you boo hi jade um but we have two quick questions to ask you will you ever be dropping a merch line do you think you and Haley might one day like visit new jersey <laughs> so those are our questions <laughs> we got the sweetest message from hazel uh, you're so sweet. Um, I am working on merch soon. It's just been crazy working with my other clients with their store. The second question is, will you and Haley be in New Jersey? And I'm pretty sure we'll love to make a travel out there. If you guys don't know, Haley's like my best internet friend ever. Um, she's just amazing. So yeah, Haley, will we go to New Jersey? I think we should. Okay, so I have one question. It's really stupid, I must say, because it's a bet with my friends. So the bet is, the person that gets the most TikTok followers till after Christmas wins like a free meal from all the people in the friend group. And I need that food, so. <laughs> the question is, every time I make a TikTok account, in like the first two days, all my videos that I post get like a lot of views. Mm. But after that, my videos don't get views anymore. Do you know why this happens? Because I'm so confused. All I'm trying to do is get myself some food. <laughs> okay, Matthias, I kind of want you to get some more food too. So to answer this question, I really believe the way TikTok algorithm is built, in my experience, is how can we make sure people do not stop scrolling? TikTok is an app where you probably will watch a creator for like 10 seconds versus a YouTuber where you watch them for like 10 minutes of a day. If one creator like screws up and just has boring content and it's not as cool, they basically find out the user will like hop off the app. So their goal is to make sure they push relevant content and trendy stuff to make sure people do not stop scrolling. It's kind of manipulative and crazy, but very, very smart. So sometimes with Thias, your TikTok could have like a song or hashtag that's super trendy. And the minute it's less trendy just for the user, they're just gonna stop showing it. So the real key is either to become super early on a trend or hashtag, or try to make content that's not reliant on it. For example, I made like a Starbucks video and it hit a million views and to this day it still keeps growing because Starbucks is kind of like a year round trend. Okay guys, I'm gonna take one last question. This question's gonna be a banger, so make sure you guys say it at the end. I wanna know how people reacted when they found out you were doing full-time YouTube and that you quit school and how did you like respond to the reaction? Hey Hilly, oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking this question. So yeah, I mean, when I told my friend, okay, hold up, let me backtrack my story if you are new to my channel. So basically, I am 18 years old. Two years ago, I left high school to pursue YouTube and marketing full-time. Basically, my job has been consulting brands how to grow their business using social media. So I'm kind of like this, I don't know, self-taught marketing girl just because of doing YouTube videos for so long. Um, so I knew deep down that I could not go to school for like much longer because I was not learning anything valuable to what I wanted to do. YouTube, I learned by myself. Marketing was something I did because of YouTube. So school didn't teach me that. Um, and I really did not give a crap about what people thought because I'm not like, I'm, not, I'm sorry, but I do not come from a super like wealthy family. I'm not going to pay money for student loans to learn something I don't like and not get a payoff I want. I know I'm being really harsh, but that's just for me. I left school with the confidence that I love what I'm doing online and there's no other, like 
other than, other than money, the most important precious thing is time. And I want to spend my time with amazing people, things I love, my passion. Um, and I didn't just blindly like jump out of school. I did have to make some money. I remember like my first like gig was like this Shopify consulting gig for like $2,500 a month. Um, and I started to grow that and then I'm um, here. Uh, currently I'm working on a software company, the text message platform you saw here. Yeah, I have a text message company. I consult here and there um, and I do YouTube because I freaking love it. I can't thank you enough for watching my journey. It couldn't be done without you guys. I'm not joking. All the success I've built is thanks to you guys, which is why I built this SMS platform because I genuinely believe I just want to talk to one of you guys to just one, I want to say thank you, one, but two, let me know how I can help you. If you're starting an online business, um, you want to, I don't know, be a YouTuber, I would love to just contribute to your life and give you advice over my like eight years on YouTube. Um, I'm here to help and just give you the family of a lifetime. So yeah, subscribe to the Dharma Nation. Like this video if you haven't already. Let me know if you guys like these Q&As and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below your thoughts. I love you guys so much. Peace.